Hey, this is Infinity Parks. After three plus years, I'm finally back to do a review on the Lego minifigure series Disney series. This is set number 71012. It's ages five and up, and they're retail right now for $3.19 on the Lego store. And they're retiring soon, so I suggest you get them fast if you want these. Now, they come out of the ordinary minifigure series. This actually comes with 18 figures. It comes with Stitch, Little Green Men, Buzz Lightyear, Aladdin, Genie, Maleficent, Alice, the Cheshire Cat, Daisy, Donald, Minnie in her pink outfit, Mickey in her Mickey in his uh, normal outfit, which is just the red pants, uh, Mr. Incredible, Syndrome, Peter Pan, Captain Hook, Ursula, and Little Mermaid. Okay, let's uh, first start with the packaging that they come in, and it's this blue, this blue, navy blue colored packet. It has Captain Hook, Buzz Lightyear, a lot of the other characters, except for not all of them. Um, it says 18 to collect. There's the set number with the age requirements, which nobody really follows that. Uh, the Disney logo, and then on the back, so surprise thing here, it has the Incredibles logo right there for some reason. Yeah, these cost for $3.19. And they all come with the stands, the figures, and then a checklist with all of the figures on here. Yep. So, let's go off and start off with Stitch on number one. So, there's a stand that they come in. All of them come with them. So, let's start with Stitch. He is a short figure, which I expected him to be, and he has a large head, which kind of looks good on all these, except some of them, they kind of stand out. Um, so, Stitch has actually toe printing of his feet. Uh, chest printing with his like fur on the front, back printing with his tail and his marking on the back of his back, and the back of his head with the top of the t ears. A um, little spiff of hair, and that's him right there. That's Stitch. Wish we got a version of him with forearms and his guns and stuff, but maybe if they ever do a series two, that's probably one they would do. Yep. Yeah. Um, next one is the Little Green Men, which is an updated version of the old one. I actually have the old version. It's right here. And yeah, that's how much a difference of years can come. I think this was when Toy Story 3 came out, when that movie first came out. Forget what year, I'm going to say 2010. Um, let me look it up real quick. Story three. The two th yeah, two thousand ten. First yeah. Two thousand ten. That's the old version. And the new version actually looks a lot better. The print you might not see it on camera, but the print is actually darker on the new one. And is actually a different color uh whatever this is called and the belt. And this one actually has double molded not double molded. It's not double molded. It's actually printed on shoes. Printed. And he actually has back printing on this one while the old one actually does. Just the same color differences. So, that's the green men. And on to the man himself, Buzz Lightyear. Which is actually a newer version, and I like this version better than the old version. I did have the old version, but I traded it out for the old Mars missions uh, uh, aliens way back when. I forget what year, but it's really old. And I actually didn't care about Buzz Lightyear. I still have all the other figures from the Pizza Planet truck, which is what I got it from. Um, but yeah, this is Buzz Lightyear. He's got. Uh, a lot of printing, and I actually like that. I know the old version didn't have uh, leg printing. And, yeah, that's the leg printing. And I'll actually start taking it apart. 
So his visor comes off. That's one piece. I still have that piece. It's the only part of remains of Buzz Lightyear I have. Um, his head is actually new. He used to have like a molded head, just like a, a Mickey does, but in like a toy form. Um, okay, there you go. There's that piece. The wings actually come off, which I like to keep them on. And there's the head. Yep. Nothing on the back, just a purple head with that printed on. And then here's the body and arms. So there actually isn't much. It's just, yep. And, but that's the arm printing with his little laser. His laser on the back. Let me go put it back together. Yep, and that's Buzz Lightyear, which he actually is one of my favorite figures from the series. Actually, no, he actually is my favorite figure from the series. Yep. Next is Aladdin, which he is actually really cool. Surprised we didn't get Jasmine in this, but hopefully they'll do actually another series with all the princesses of that we're missing. Because we got only two. Well, I don't know if Alice counts, but Little Mermaid does. Um, yeah, he's got the genie's lamp. He's got the rugged pants. He's got the torso printing that he actually is supposed to have. I like his hair with his uh, little fez on the top and his face. And uh, when these series first came out, if you watch Star Wars Rebels, people actually didn't like the way that Ezra came from the old Phantom set. Um, people actually put this face on him, and actually I think it looks good for him. I don't have Ezra, so I can't try that. Um, but yeah, that's Aladdin. Next up is Genie, which he actually comes with an Aladdin lamp as well, which is good. But he's supposed to be posed like this, with it coming out. But I don't place I don't place him like that. Uh, next is Genie. Yeah, this is Genie. He's got the ghost tail, blue body, gold cuffs for because he's a genie. And that's his face. And actually, his headpiece. Personally, I don't like the ears. It's a little bit too big, but. I see what they were trying to go for, because he does have ears, but I didn't think they were this big in the movie. Yeah, that's Genie. So next is one of the hardest minifigures to find in this series for me, which is Maleficent. Yeah, she's got the one by two sloped with printing on the front of the beginning of her dress. Or whatever wizard coat thing. This is her staff, which has got the yellow gem on top. And then that's her face. That's her horns. And then let me take off her head so I could show you how her cape actually gets assembled. So it's actually two parts it's purple on the inside and black on the outside. Same with this. Actually, no. It's black with that, with little tips of purple right here. And black right there. And she doesn't have any black back printing. So, okay, let me just take a few minutes and put this back together. Yeah, okay. I'll just put it to the side. I'll put it back to her again later. Um, this is Alice who comes with actually a brand new skirt piece and has printing, toe printing the skirt has p uh, printing she's got a bottle from the movie that says drink me which turns her into I think a, um, I think it's the cookie that makes her small and then the drink makes her big I don't remember she's got back printing with the bow She's got, that has her face. Yep. Okay. 
Okay. Um, next is a person from the same movie, which I kind of noticed they group these people from the same movies and stuff. So, Aladdin's with Genie, Buzz is with the Green Army, I mean Green Alien. All four of them are together because they're from the same cartoon. Them two are from the movie, them two, and then them two. Uh, yeah, so this is Cheshire Cat, who is all pink and purple. Yeah, he's got his tail, just a bunch of stripe patterns, and then the big smile grin. Doesn't come with any accessories, because he's a cat and he doesn't need any. So yeah, that's Cheshire Cat. Now next is a figure that comes in two sets, but they're different variations. This is Daisy, who has got the lavender sh uh, shirt. Um, got surprisingly, it didn't come with wet feet. Um, comes with a duck tail that's recent, been coming out recently, and it's got a pink bow. And yeah, now that I actually see this head, it actually fits her perfectly. It's all the per people that have yep the face. Uh, next is Donald, who's got his little sailor hat. Can, is placed on like that, just like Daisy's. Um, he's got the sailor vest with the red bow tie and the the. These are from what I can remember, uh, military ranks for them. So I guess he's just like a sailor, just the lowest. Um, even though he wants to be a captain, from what I can tell, from the cartoons. Um, he's got the duck's tail, and then he's got the, the thing that most sailor people have on their backs. Uh, next is, oh, and he's the same in both sets he comes in. Uh, next is Minnie, who actually has a different variation of her in the second set she comes in. This one is actually the pink version with the polka dots. Next version is actually the reds which you'll see coming later. Uh, this is the pink with polka dot. It has the same skirt as Alice over here. So it just placed on the legs like that. And yeah, she has actually the kind of the same face as Mickey, but it's just eyelashes are printed on. So that's the only difference between the two heads. Um, next is the man himself, Mickey, who is who's got yellow shoes, red pants, uh, black, just a black torso, and the same face as Minnie, but minus the eyelashes and doesn't have anything on his head. Next is Mr. Incredible, who's got the Doing Our Part magazine that's in his room in the movie. Uh, he's got the red outfit, which I wish there was a blue version of blue suit version of him like in this comic but no there actually was a custom minifigure but I didn't get it um, there's actually versions where they actually have all the Incredibles family just based off of this figure they just took multiples of this and just changed it around pieces but yeah that's Mr. Incredible who's got um, no back printing, but he's actually got double molded legs. Um, next is Syndrome, who is by far the funniest character of this whole entire series, because he his face actually looks weird because he doesn't have a nose. And I guess the nose makes him prominent. It's like what defines him. But he, many figures don't have noses, so there you go. He's actually got the a new style of hair piece is not the ones that used to come in the agents um, that Dr. Inferno had and all that. Um, he's got the one, two pieces with just the S printed on, which looks weird because there's black in between them all. He's got printing on his arms. Let's see if you can fit out. It's his, uh, um, his freeze, I forget, laser pointer that makes people freeze. He's got the same printing on the other side. Um, doesn't have any back printing. Double molded legs with actually printing on the sides of the legs, which I did not notice that in just till now. Yeah. 
And that's his tile. It's the Omnidroid Mark 7. Operation 7. It says 07, so I guess it's just Omnidroid 07. Yep. And that's what he has in his hands. Next is Peter Pan, who is actually one of another one of my favorite figures because he just looks really cool. Um, he actually does have double molded legs with actually printing on the side for the dark green. Um, he's got double molded arms and uh, that's his face. That's his torso. He's actually got a little bit of back printing of just the line there. And there's his head. It's not the same one as the collectible minifigures elves. It's actually different. Um, and he's actually got two golden knives, but on the checklist here it actually says, it actually shows he has two silver knives, so I don't know if they actually changed that pre-production or if that's just something mine came with. Um, next is Captain Hook, who is actually another funny one, because I didn't think his hat would be like a curve here. Um, but yeah, that's his head piece. That's his face. He's got front printing, leg printing, double molded legs. He's got arm printing, side leg printing, back printing. Um, and he's got the golden sword, which I actually know the name of, but I won't say it. If you want to look it up, just look it up. Reapier is what it's called. Uh, yeah, so this is Ursula, who's got this hair with silver on the side, or dark gray, dark gray. Um, she, her torso actually comes off from the body. That's all one piece. Yeah. And then that's her torso. She's actually got back printing, even though it kind of barely shows up on the thing. And she comes with a golden trident. Which is... Uh, forget... Uh, King Triton. Yeah. King Triton's... And then lastly is Little Mermaid. So she's actually got one big piece and she's one of the hardest characters to stand on. Ursula actually just plants herself on there. Um, yeah, so Little Mermaid's actually got a crystal, a clam, and then like this huge hair piece. It's like just covers everything of her. And I actually like the face on her. She's actually got one of the best faces in all the series. Yeah. And that's her printing. She actually has back printing. And her tail actually has different color, different colors as well, which is something I don't recall ever seeing. So let me go put her all together. And uh, so... Now that's the end of the review, so let me go ask what kind of content do you want to see on this channel? I actually want to do a lot more content for 2017, because um, I want to actually get this channel back up started again, even though I've only done like 11 videos, and even though I only have 29 subscribers, but I want to continue that and continue to grow. Because actually on YouTube a lot, but I, I actually don't post anything. So what kind of content do you want to see? Do you want to see more reviews like this? I can actually try to do the Disney Castle even though I don't have that big of a setup. I can do it as like a different setup. It just shows, I don't know, background. Um, I can also do try uh, like phone games. Like I have Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes, Star Wars Force Arena. I got that game early. Um... Star Wars Commander, or do you, anything really. I might do song videos, like, because I can actually sing, and I have a friend that can play ukulele, and we can actually do duets of certain songs, so I can, like, try that. But, yeah, so that's, this is my new resolution, to try to make more videos. I have some friends helping me. 
just going like, yeah, you can just do whatever video, but I want to hear what you guys think. So this is Infinity Parks, and yes, I changed my name from LEGO Clone Fanatic. Infinity Parks was a username I used to have on a game called, which is now shut down, called Disney Infinity. I had toy boxes, I might actually show them on here if I actually get a good recording on the Xbox. Um, but other than that, yep, this is Infinity Parks, signing out.